Well, Joseph, a big weekend ahead of you. The Epsom Derby, red hot favourite Australia. You've won the race two years ago, of course, in the Great Camelot. How much are you looking forward to riding Australia this week? Yeah, really looking forward to it, Kevin. I suppose um, since he since he came into the yard um, and since he started working, I suppose he, he was always a, a very good horse. And uh, and like I say, we're really looking forward to the Derby. Great trial as well in the Guineas, the best trial there is there, and he's he's bred to have no trouble get the trip. He's by a Derby winner out of an Oaks winner and a Ouija board. Yeah, like you say, he's bred to stay the trip. Um, he's bred to handle the track, and he's probably bred to win the Derby, um, which is what you need going to Epsom. Um, like I say, it's the ul ultimate test of a racehorse, and uh, we're looking forward to it. And Joseph, you grew up wanting to win a Derby. Why is it that that's the race that everybody wants to win? Listen, I suppose it's, it's because it's the Derby. It's it's the ultimate test of horse and rider. Um, you need to have a horse with pace, balance, and you have to get the trip. And uh, like I say, it's um, it's quite a a, a, um, a a kind of a funny track to ride at times. Obviously, with the with with the Tottenham Corner and, and all the different things um, running down into the straight. But like I say, it's it's the ultimate test of horse and rider, and uh, it, it's a race every jockey wants to win. And of course, you got that dream come true a couple of years ago. Yourself and your dad created history by becoming the first father and son to actually win the Derby. Yes, uh, it was an unbelievable day, and uh, like I say. Um, when you win it once, it's something that you, you, you just want to go back and do it again. There's a great atmosphere in the day as well. The whole thing revolves around the Derby. Great build up to it. Yeah, it's, 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 listen, it's, it's a day of racing like no other, really. And like I say, it's the Derby. And uh, th there is only one every year. And, and, and like I say, it's, it's the ultimate test of horse and rider. And Australia is a beautifully balanced horse. You need a good balanced horse to handle the undulations around Epsom. Yes, you do. Um, like I say, he's plenty of pace. Hopefully, he'll get the trip. That's a bit of an unknown. But he, he's well balanced and he, he's. His, his mum and dad handle, handle the track well, so uh, if we're looking forward to it. And you also go back 24 hours to the Oaks. Marvellous, looks like she's the one who won the Irish Guineas that you're going to ride. Yes, uh, more than likely, that's the way it's looking now. Uh, listen, she, was, she won very well in the Irish Guineas. Um, you'd imagine she'd get a mile and a half. Um, so listen, we're, we're hoping that she can step up, step and up and trip, and hopefully in a bit of nicer ground she, she might even step up again. And of course the ground that day, you went a good gallop on very heavy ground, she stayed well, there should be no problem stepping up. No, it was very heavy ground and she looked to go to the line well, um, so like I say, hopefully she can handle a better ground and, and get the mile and a half and she, she's in with a fighting chance. And ruler of the world, is the plan still to run him in the uh, coronation? Yeah, it looks that way, um, he's in good form, like I say, he hasn't run for a while since, um, since Dubai where he was a bit disappointing, so hopefully he can come back to his form of that day last year. And of course, it was a fantastic day. He was a very impressive winner of an Epsom Derby. Yes, he was. So he handled the track and he handled everything that goes with it. So uh, that's a big help to a horse that's been there and done that. So hopefully he can be, be very hard to beat in, in the carnation. Exciting week ahead. Best of luck and thanks for having a word. Thanks, Kevin.